Hey guys, it's Dylan from Mining with Minions here. Today we are up in the Caribou and we're gonna be checking out some different mine addits and a bunch of different historical areas. So, let's get it. Okay, so it is super dark in here, guys. But like, the rock that's in here is really weird. Like there are a few seams, like right here. But it's yeah, really, there. really weird rock in here. I come. It doesn't really look like a normal host that would contain gold in it, but there is. they were working this for some reason. Look at all that, Joe. What? That this way? is all river gravel. Yeah. This is what they were working. That's sketchy. Yo, oh, yeah, that's super sketchy. <laughs> it's dripping on my I, head. I, I think that's what they were working. That's why they stopped at the roof because that's not the layer. The pay layer's here. Check out all the tubing in there. And it's so rusted too. Huh. I don't have another. Yeah, guys, it's. It's really weird. It's really hard to figure out what they're going after here, but the way that the roof is, is fairly horizontal and fairly level. So it feels like all this old river deposit that goes on both sides. I'm guessing that's what they were working in here. Your back. You're gonna get cut. That's absolutely amazing, guys. Sweet. These here are a bunch of old support timbers. That looks like an open shaft for us. <laughs> Don't stand I on hope that. not. It's full of water. <laughs> Don't stand on There's that. There's a lake shaft there. Um, <laughs> need to need to call Scuba Steve. <laughs> I mean, the roof does seem fairly hollow, or fairly solid. I, mean, I said hollow because I saw this hollow pocket. <laughs> but I, I, dude, I think it's this stuff that they're working. You can see there's scrape marks in it. Look at this stuff, though. The tubing. And all the tubing and then it goes down and then takes a hard left. That's some more old support timbers. Whoa, don't go in that. <laughs> There's a another deep shaft here that we do not want to go into. Oh, here's some quartz. Oh no, that's not quartz. Never mind. For my little stalactite. Don't know why I just want. Yeah, to... dude, this is all conglomerate. This is this is ancient, ancient river channel from some point in time, millions of years ago, hundreds of millions of years ago, probably. It takes a hard right, and that's basically. I know you guys can't really see because the lighting is hard, but it only goes back maybe another 20 feet from where we are. And it seems that's kind of where they abandoned it. That's why I don't worry. I'm not sure if they abandoned it because they ran out of what they were finding or because it became a little too sketchy for them. Because like, all here it looks like most of it's held up with calcite. Oh yeah, <laughs> big time. <laughs> but I definitely think it was this stuff. This really, really rusted material that they're getting stuff out of. Because they weren't working the roof at all. Yeah, no, I noticed that. Yeah. They, they just hit the top of that rust layer and stopped. Okay, guys, so for our next stop here in the Caribou, we are at the historic town of Barkerville, which was one of the highest gold producing towns in all of the gold rush in the Caribou. Super exciting. We're gonna see some old historic buildings, some artifacts, some huge nuggets. But right now, before we go in, we are doing a little checkout on this huge ore dump pile that I think from the guy that told me last time I was here, it's about 40, 50 years old. 
but there are some cool, cool specimens here. So we're gonna do a little poke around and see what we can find. So I just found this really cool piece of quartz here that's got tons of pyrite up on this side. And on the other side, it's got a big chunk, well not big chunk, of peacock ore, which is basically a calcopyrite, a copper byproduct, but super cool specimen, guys. This one is just loaded in calcopyrite cubes. So cool, guys. Sweet specimen. Sam just pulled this crazy quartz crystal here. It's got a beautiful point right there. Sweet. So this church here is my favorite on the property. It is absolutely beautiful, guys. Oh, there's a horse-drawn carriage. Isn't that kind of cool? But let's go check out the inside of this church. Look at the workmanship on that facial board, guys. That was all done by hand. That is insane. This is so cool. That's a nice axe. So this is the church, guys. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm guessing that's where the original wood stove was coming out. But this is so, so cool. Ah. Now guys, we're coming up to the schoolhouse, which is such a cool little building. I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to get inside inside, but. This is where all the kids learned how to spell your ABCs, one, two, threes. I'm guessing fairly basic things, how to dig a good hole. <laughs> so cool. So now we're coming up on the town library, guys. I mean, it's not the biggest selection of books, but I guess for back in the day when the main, object main objective up here was to find gold, I guess you really didn't need to learn too much other than really survival and healthcare. So cool, guys. This is why I love this time era so much, guys. Like, even the hinges on the doors have such intricate designs on them. It's so amazing. They cared about everything back then. It's so cool. I'm hoping you guys are going to be able to see this pen stand through this window. I'll try to zoom in on the video for you, but right there on that desk, guys, is like a gold-plated, insane pen stand with the ink. So here's the town blacksmith, guys. If you guys needed anything back in the day, this is pretty much where you'd come to have it made. Good morning. How's it going, boss? Good. That is an old apple peeler, guys. Super old. All these old kitchen instruments and ulu knives and stuff. So now we're going into the bakery where you can get yourself a treat from back in the old times. Hot chocolate, man. That's kind of sweet. This is the barber shop where, as you guys can tell, I really need to go. I've been mining up here for the last week, so looking a little bushmanish. But so cool. Now, if you guys ended up getting shot, broke your leg, got attacked by a bear, anything horrible that happened, this is your hospital. This is your hospital bed, guys. That, I'm guessing, is your box of 
painkillers and this and that's and blood thinners, blood clotters, whatever they used back in the day. But this room probably heard, heard a lot of screams. Ah! In this jewelry case here, there are some beautiful golden quartz cabochons here. Those are super sweet, guys. Beautiful gold brooches. Hey, you even got some opals. So here's an old Sears catalog, guys. Look at this stuff. These are gold rings. $3.50. Mountings on this page are solid gold. $5. Look at the size of the stone in that one. $7. Look, solid gold cross, 76 cents. This is absolutely insane, guys. If only gold was this price nowadays. Crazy 14 karat gold pendant here, $4.50. Oh my goodness. Painless tooth extractions. I don't really know about that, guys, because every single time that I've gone and I've had my tooth pulled out, it seemed to hurt quite a bit. And this was a long time ago. Whoa, that is insane, guys. If you guys don't know what this thing is right here, this is a rotary tool. That little bit that's hanging down there, that's where you put your drill bits in to drill into people's teeth and stuff like that. Nowadays, we have them on motors as a flex shaft grinder. That is so cool. Here's where the boys came and wet their whistle after a long day up in the bush. Probably lots of fights that happened in here. <laughs> lots of drunk miners. So cool. That old crib board that's made out of a piece of moose antler. Wicked. A couple of old, very well used rocker boxes here. They stuck in the ground, they ain't rocking no more. So cool. Now that is a gold scale, guys. You guys can't tell by how I'm filming, but that thing is like three feet tall. Look at the plates of gold. Oh my God. Like, look at that pan just full of nuggets. Oh my goodness, that's insane. Wow. So this spot here looks to be where they're crushing down ore and smelting out the gold and the silver. You can see all their cone, cone crucibles there in the oven. You got a bunch of ore in the back, in the crushers, and a bunch of ore as well on the shelves. That is super cool. Awesome. Hello. <laughs> this is the home of one of the Chinese miners of Barkerville. Barkerville was a fairly cultural, diverse mining town, which is really cool. A lot of the Chinese miners that came here made very good names for themselves. They worked very hard and found a lot of gold. Well, that's a nice size bed. That's real nice. <laughs> So this is basically what your pack would look like back in the day, guys. That is absolutely awesome. You got your frying pan, your sleeping mat, your pick, and your gold pan. I'm sure there's some other things in there that'll help them live. Looks like these would have been used as snowshoes. Super cool, guys. Look at those nuggets, guys. Oh my goodness. That is a chonker. Well guys, that's a wrap for this adventure. We had an absolute blast up here in the Caribou checking out different mine addicts in different historical areas. Such a beautiful place to be. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment if you'd like to and subscribe to my channel. I have a lot of awesome adventures coming up in the near future. Until the next one.